Now, let's compare formal speech with casual, everyday, conversational, relaxed speech. Look at this. When we have the word have, for example, could have been, you have learned that we say could have been, we reduce it to of. If you speak more casually, you can say coulda. You just change the v to a, coulda. I could have called you. I could have come over. Would have, woulda. Should have, shoulda. Look at what happens to of. Same thing, it becomes a. Instead of saying kind of, you will hear people say kinda. I'm kinda tired. Sort of, sorta. Bottle of wine, bottle of wine. Cup of coffee, cup of coffee. Look at what happens to two. Two also becomes a. For example, want to, wanna, I wanna go. Got to, gotta. I gotta eat, I gotta go. A few more rules of casual speech. Let me often becomes let me. The T disappears. Let me do it. Let me go. Let me help you. With give me, sometimes you will hear people say gimme. Instead of the V, they just drop the V. Gimme. Give me a call. Gimme that. One more. A lot of my students ask me about this. The ING ending. Sometimes the G disappears, but remember, this is considered really casual speech. Maybe you will see this in music lyrics. It's kind of how young people talk, but it's not really considered very professional speech. Instead of saying going, people will say going, doing. What are you doing? What's happening? Be careful about that one. Use it only in certain casual situations. All right, let's practice some sentences now using this casual way of talking. You should have told me earlier. I could have helped you. You should have told me earlier. I could have helped you. I want to get a cup of coffee. I want to get a cup of coffee. He's going to make a lot of money. He's going to make a lot of money. We got to go shopping because we're out of food. We got to go shopping because we're out of food. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. People talk like this every day. You will hear this kind of speech in movies and in casual conversations. But remember, if you're in a more formal setting, do not abbreviate things like this. I'm at home. I'm at school. I'll meet you at five. I'll call you at six. Let's look at what happens to the word to. We don't say to the store, we say to the store, to go. I'd like to go to the store. One more time, I'd like to go to the store. Don't say I'd like to go to the store. One more, to work. I'm going to work. I'd like to talk to you. All right, let's look at what happens to four. We reduce the O and it becomes a, uh, fur. Repeat after me, for a while, for a while, for a moment, for a long time. I haven't seen you for a long time. All right, let's look at what happens to or. Or becomes er, just er, just a consonant er. We don't say yes or no, we can say yes or no, good or bad, good or bad, this or that, would you like this or that? Now, it, there could be a reason that you want to extend the or if you decide you want to say, do you want this or that, if you're thinking, 
or if you don't know what you're going to say next, of course, you can change it. But remember, if you're continuing the sentence and you know where you're going with the sentence and what you're going to say, and there's no pause after the or, then make sure you say it a little faster and reduce the vowel and just say uh. Look at this one, our. We don't say this is our house. We say our, our. This is our house. This is our house. This is our car. Do you like our new garden? Here's our number. All right, and let's look at what happens to and. In this case, we reduce the A and the D. Those disappear often. And we, for example, we don't say rock and roll music. We say rock and roll. I love rock and roll. In and out becomes in and out, in and out. John and Mary becomes John and Mary. I'm going to talk to John and Mary. This and that, this and that. What are you doing? Mm. This and that. Let's try some sentences now. I'd like to see you for a moment. I'd like to see you for a moment. Sooner or later, you'll meet our parents. Sooner or later, you'll meet our parents. I went to work at 9 o'clock. I went to work at 9 o'clock. I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. Do you like black and white or color photos? Do you like black and white or color photos? Again, remember, reducing function words does not mean you're speaking really fast. You still have to slow down on the content.